Hi friends. Welcome back to our channel. It's Christina TNT and Gail and Kale. And today, oh my gosh, it's already January and look at this beautiful weather. We are having, uh, we've got some stuff to do out here in the field for the goats and the chickens. And there's chicken, to, oh, where'd she go? And so a few weeks ago, we actually brought home a buck for our, she's trying to knock down my camera, for, for our girls. And I didn't get it on camera because I actually I had to leave to go show a house down in Klamath County. So when he arrived, um, we, didn't, we didn't get any footage of it, but I did get some footage of introducing him to our ladies. And I will show you that. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> You're all afraid of him. <laughs> uh, oh. Just need time to get used to each other. That's his mating call. <laughs> he was much larger than we anticipated. This is the first time I've ever bred goats. We did get triplets last year and one of them came bred. So we had one kidding already and that's how we got oops, sorry, Kel. this girl right here. This is Aspen. So cute. And so we we got him and introduced him pretty sure he did his business and didn't catch much of that on camera however he got really aggressive and knocked me down um wouldn't let us out in the field um otherwise was really sweet but if we came into the field it wasn't wasn't a good scene so i wasn't comfortable keeping him especially with my son who comes out in the field and we spend a lot of time with the animals. Um, so we rehomed him quickly. So hopefully he did his business with all three of the girls and we'll have some kids in April. She wants the treat. I know she does. Let me see some. They give them some treats from the Oat Code feed store, right? Hi, baby. Okay. Mom, I said do we. Um, we got these treats from the Oat Code feed store. Yeah, we get them from Oat Code feed and ranch supply. Yeah, that's one of the projects we're going to be doing now. So we have half an acre back here with a greenhouse. And we actually need to section off so the goats can't get out there. As you can see... Um, all the surrounding fields are starting to grow in, but ours are mud. What are you doing? Oh, Our property is mud. And I picked up uh, electric net fencing to keep the um, buck in. That was another problem with him, is that he actually would just tear down our fence right away. We we don't have, have all these adequate animals. fencing for a goat that size. I'll be he was about. Uh, oh, this goat is 250 me. pounds. Okay, not headbutting. So we're gonna use that electric fencing to section off the goats okay, okay, yeah, to the front hey. pen where we're sitting. Okay, but and you're about hopefully to... keep the chickens out of here too. Oh, the aspen, it's over here. Aspen, it's pushy. stop it. Wants your food. And we're working on building a stanchion today so I can uh, <laughs> get the goats <laughs> trained. Apparently. She wanted to be in the video. Who are you? Number 10. This is number 10. We just have numbers on them. Oh, oh, yeah. They're trying to get some treats too. My pretty girl, you want some treats? Oh my gosh. Oh. I know Aspen wants some. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be moving the electric fence over to section off and keep the hens out of the goats too because they're making a mess 
and getting into everything and they just need to stay in their own little area. Um, gotta clean the goat house too. Get that stinky buck smell out of there if we can. All right, enjoy this nice weather. Let's get to it. You ready to get to work? No, not yet. Not yet? No, I want to we'll just hang out with the goats for a little while first. Juniper, what did you do? And here comes Aspen barging in. Double up. For the platform? Yeah. It's a little short. Building a stanchion for me. Once those girls have the babies. Alright. We got a twisted four by four for the legs. Trying to decide how long to make the platform. We'll put the head over here. The well's backwashing. We need to figure out a better way for this to drain somewhere. chickens turn your compost for you oh aspen's very sweet too if she lays down she'll let you sit next to her too and just pet her she's the baby of the goat well, other goats, I should say. She's gonna jump in? Is she gonna jump in? What do you think, Mom? Do you think she's gonna jump in? Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks like it. Dun dun dun. Okay, so now that the goat house has been cleaned out, we put um, hydrated lime down on the bottom. Uh, we'll sprinkle it on the floor. All right, so we're going to put the hydrated lime down on the floor to absorb any extra urine and kill down the ammonia smell. Unfortunately, our floors are made out of wood, plywood, um, because this was an existing building when we 
moved onto the property. So we, we tried to make use of what was here. Yeah. Um, but eventually when we move the goats to the other side of the field and away from the house, we will probably get them a, a different house that's on the ground so that the all of that can just absorb into the ground and we won't have this problem as much. So right, I have that done on the floor. I'm gonna rub it in a little bit, let this air dry for about an hour and then come back in and lay down the bedding. Okay, that's our plan. This is the electric fence setup that we got from Coastal. It's a solar 12 volt energizer power fields. And the way I know it's working is because that little green blinky light. And it runs all the way down the field and across that back part so that they can't get into my neighbors. My chickens kept getting out, getting into the neighbor's yard. And I decided to go a different route and got the netting so that even the chickens couldn't get through. And we plan on using this for the pigs down the road when we run pigs again too. But for now, we're gonna section off half of this field, keep the goats out of it, and hopefully plant some seed next month in February um, and start rotating them through. It's hard to do with only a half an acre, but we have a plan. For now, let's make sure this is turned off before I move it. I'm gonna leave the base right here because I already got the ground hammered in right there and I don't want to have to move that right now. so easy to move. This is the first time I've ever had electric fencing and the first time I've ever moved it. Setting it up was really easy the way they had it wrapped and but I got a little tangled up there for a moment and I, I need to figure out a new plan and see what I'm gonna do because it goes too far across so we might have to come back around this way and give them a little bit of extra room for now. Getting good. Get my stanchion. All right, so we got the goat house all cleaned up and finished. I had to leave to Terrebonne to go show a couple houses, so I was not able to be here to record any of it, but my husband, Jeremy, helped finish, and he moved the electric fence around and got it all set up for me. And behind her, is the stanchion. And there's the new stanchion. It works out really well. We still aren't really sure how we want to have them eat because it is in place where the other goats are. They are not led very well on a rope, so we're still practicing that. And let's go show yeah. them. Until next time.
Feel free. Let's show them this. I don't want to show them that right now. We'll do that on a different video. Okay, but yeah. as you can see, there's the ladies enjoying some sunshine. Yeah. Hopefully you can tune in for our next video. Aww. They're going to be due to have a hoof trim soon, so that's probably the next video. Uh, hope you can subscribe, like this video, and let us know what you think.